This video will help you set up your mouse so that it works best for you and enables you to perform at your maximum whilst in game. First I'll explain the basic principles of mouse sensitivity, then I'll go over the specific window settings to enable you to get smooth and concise mouse control in game. The best mouse sensitivity is the high sensitivity you can set it at while still being able to have accurate control of the mouse. The higher the sensitivity, the faster the aiming will move, however this will afford you less accuracy at long range. The lower the sensitivity, the more you have to move your mouse to have an effect on the in-game aiming. This makes it easier to aim and hit long range targets, however makes it harder to react to close up targets. One of the biggest disadvantages that arises from having a low sensitivity is that you have to lift the mouse off the mouse mat just to do a half rotation. The perfect sensitivity setting will be one that allows you to hit long distance targets while still being able to turn at least 90 degrees without lifting the mouse. To get the correct settings in Windows you need to go to Start, Control Panel, Hardware and Sound, then click on the mouse button, then look for Pointer Options under the tabs and you need to set it so that the select pointer speed is on the 6th notch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Make sure enhanced pointer precision is also turned off. Then click apply. Setting the mouse notch at 6 stops Windows from artificially adding in movement to the mouse when you move it, making sure that the mouse pointer moves one to one exactly with how you move it on your mouse mat. Having the enhanced pointer precision button unticked means that Windows won't apply any smoothing algorithms to the mouse. This at first might feel unnatural with the mouse appearing to be more jagged in its movement, but over time it will start feeling more natural and you will also find it easier to aim in games with repetitive actions being more easy to replicate. You will also find that in the future when you change your mouse sensitivity in game, it will be far easier to adapt to the changes that you have made. In the end it is about finding the perfect setting that works for you, however turning smoothing off is probably one of the key things you can do to improve your aiming in FPS games. If you've got yourself a fancy gaming mice, you should follow the previous window settings however try and use as high as possible DPI setting whilst as low as possible sensitivity whilst in game. By doing this you are benefiting from a higher DPI and even though the mouse might move at the same speed as a cheaper mouse, the point is it will be far more accurate and precise when you do move it. With a gaming mouse you will additionally want to set other DPI settings that work well in Windows when set to notch 6 and other DPI settings for when you specifically want a slower or faster mouse, say if you are sniping or playing a shooter that requires less accuracy but more speed.